Look at how crispy and golden brown those look. I have been thinking about these all day and I'm so excited to try them. Good morning, we are on to day two of my $35 eating for a week from Dollar Tree. So this averages out to about $5 a day if you were to follow the same system. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. I do wanna recap you on last night. After I left you guys off last night, the only thing I ate was some of those spicy nacho fieras. They're like kind of the knockoff Takis and I had those right before bed and honestly, it was so refreshing to be able to eat a late night snack. I'm definitely a snacker, especially a late night snacker, and not feel like I had to go to bed hungry. So being able to have a late night snack for me is kind of a make or break when it comes to eating on a budget. But it's about 11 o'clock and I've been up since 8.30. That's because I work from home. So I don't usually eat breakfast the moment I wake up because it sometimes makes me feel kind of sick. So I wait until I'm like absolutely starving and then I make breakfast. So. It's time to reheat our biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy always reheat really well for me. I've never had an issue. I've even meal prepped them before um, with like chicken tenders or chicken nuggets. So I have my container of gravy here. Since I do need this for tomorrow too, I'm only gonna reheat half of it today. Just gonna split that straight down the middle and I'm gonna reheat this in the microwave for about 30 to 45 seconds. I actually ended up reheating the gravy for about a minute and I have my biscuits here. So I'm gonna grab two of those. And just like yesterday, I'm gonna go ahead and crumble the biscuits and then these won't take very long to reheat in the microwave at all. Maybe like 15 to 20 seconds, especially once they're crumbled. Uh, you can definitely reheat them in the toaster oven. I just do the microwave because it's quick and easy and I have a busy work day. So I'm not trying to take a whole lot of time. I just wanna eat. Really just enough to warm the biscuits through and then we can top it with our hot gravy and that should be enough to heat it the rest of the way. Okay, right, there we go, that's breakfast. It's the same as yesterday, just the reheated version. So Tracy had a suggestion to just try adding the lemonade packet straight to the tea. I do have some tea left over from yesterday so that is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna fill up my bottle with my tea. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my packet of lemonade. And then if I need to dilute this down further, I can. It looks pretty good, let's give it a try. I should pour this over ice, but. Oh, that is much better. <laughs> That's an Arnold Palmer for sure. That is so much better. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that from here on. I'm just gonna add the lemonade packet straight to the tea. So it's not quite lunchtime yet, but tonight for dinner, I need to make some crispy black bean tacos. So it means I need to cook my black beans. Last night I did sort them and soak them. I didn't do that on camera, but I have a video explaining how I cook beans. So it's kind of covered in that video if you wanted to go back and rewatch that. But like I said, they're sorted and soaked. I'm gonna rinse them and then I'm going to get those cooking so that we have beans for dinner tonight. For simplicity steak, I'm just gonna cook my beans in my multi-cooker. I've done it in the slow cooker, I've done it on the stove top. There's all sorts of ways you can cook beans. I'm mostly just doing this, I'm not gonna lie, I'm mostly just doing this so I don't have to move my camera over to my stove top <laughs> because I have to move my camera, my lights, my whole setup. But if I do it in the multi-cooker, I can just do it right here. Plus, uh, I know I've been talking about the multi-cooker a few times, so a lot of people have bought one and I do wanna try to utilize it more for the people who've gone out and purchased one. Into my multi-cooker goes my rinsed and drained black bean. I'm gonna go ahead and cover these with water about an inch above the top of the beans. And I'm going to season my beans with a tablespoon of my vegetable bouillon powder. Go ahead and give that a quick stir. And then for the multi-cooker, I'm just gonna turn this to the simmer function. Close it up and I will be back to check on it in about an hour. So it's about lunchtime. I think I'm gonna reheat my smoked sausage Alfredo pasta. I'm probably just gonna add a splash of water to this and microwave it. But I did just wanna mention, so I might get some questions about Michael and what he's currently doing while I'm filming these videos. And he is currently on a work trip. So to give you guys some history, Michael was in the Navy for four years. And so that's what brought him to the East Coast from Washington State. And that's why his kids are over in Washington State. Now, 
He recently got out of the Navy, that was about a year ago, and he started working as a contractor for the government. But he's a contractor with the Navy, so he still has to go on a ship sometimes and go out to sea with them. So he's out to sea currently, and he'll be out to sea for a week. So I'm just cooking for me, and that's why I have the opportunity to do this. But I'm going to go ahead and reheat my pasta for lunch now. So I microwave this for a minute and a half. Give it a quick stir. It doesn't seem too dry. It actually seems like it still has a good bit of moisture still in it. But like I said, I probably will just go ahead and add a splash of water just to rehydrate the sauce. Just like maybe one to two tablespoons of water. As you can see, that brings some life back into the pasta. When you're eating on a budget, there's always going to be some degree of eating leftovers, but I do try to keep that relatively minimal. And by that, I mean, I don't mind having what I had for dinner as leftovers for lunch the following day. I would rather have these like, I would rather have a different dinner every single night of the week and just eat the leftovers for lunch. And so that's kind of what I'm planning to do this week is that every day I'm gonna cook something for dinner and then just have the leftovers for lunch. This actually reheated fantastically. This is a great reheatable lunch. You could probably even make a larger batch of this and meal prep it to have a few days worth of lunches if you wanted to, but this reheated amazing. It's been like an hour and a half and I almost forgot my beans. Oops, let's check on them. They are just boiling away. Let's see. So I'm gonna grab one and see if it's tender. They do look good. What? So they're pretty much done. So let's pack them up. I've got so many little containers of food in my fridge right now from just odds and ends. I mean, just from yesterday basically. So I'm running out of containers, but we're gonna divide our beans between these three. And of course you don't have to go through the process of like cooking your own beans. You can buy canned beans. It all depends on like how tight you're trying to go with your budget. I'm trying to get the best bang for my buck. So one bag of dried fruit, um, <clears throat> one bag of dried beans is about four cans of regular beans. So it's a little bit cheaper this way, especially when you consider that, you know, at Dollar Tree, every can is $1.25. So you're literally getting four times the amount of product for the same price. But you don't have to do it this way if you don't want to. I know that this is a lot of work that some people don't really have. So feel free to use canned beans. But I'm going to let these cool and then I'm going to go and put them in the fridge. And I will be back at snack time, dinner time, sometime. It's almost five o'clock and I'm gonna have my afternoon snack. I know that this seems really late to be having a snack and to be honest with you guys, I'm kind of in a peculiar situation because I almost find myself having too much food in a weird way, uh, more so than I usually do. Um, so yeah, it's late. I'm just now having a snack. I could potentially wait until dinner time, but I kind of want something sweet. So I'm at least gonna have one of these now. I'm not really that hungry, but I just, I'm craving something sweet. So I'm gonna have one of my Nutty Buddy bars. It's dinner time, it's about seven o'clock and I am really excited to make this dinner. I'm actually not really hungry right now, but I know by the time I'm done cooking, I will be. And the idea of making this has kind of been just making me antsy all day because I wanna get it done. So we're gonna be making some crispy black bean tacos. Wait for my dog to finish drinking water. So I have taco seasoning, corn tortillas. I'm probably gonna use some seasoning blend. I have my black beans, rotel, and maybe vegetable bouillon. Haven't really decided on that yet, but let's go ahead and get started. I've got my skillet with a splash of oil on like medium heat, medium, medium high-ish. And I'm gonna add a half a cup of my seasoning blend. I'm also gonna add about a quarter cup of my rotel. And I'm also going to be adding one of my packets of taco seasoning. That was a three pack. And I'm just going to let this saute for a couple of minutes to bring out the chili flavors in the taco seasoning. It's really not going to take much time at all. That looks pretty good, and I don't want it to burn. We can go ahead and dump in our black beans. Okay, 
And I do think I'm gonna need to add a little bit of liquid to this. Maybe like a quarter cup or so, so that we can mash these beans. I'm gonna add a half a cup of water. That's probably too much, but I can always cook down any excess. And I'm gonna let this cook and kind of mash the beans as it cooks. So I was doing it with just the spatula, but it was a bit of an arm workout. So I'm gonna switch to a potato masher and just mash up my beans. At least to get it started. And I do want some kind of chunky texture still left in this, so I don't want them to be totally mashed. I just want them to be a little bit mashed. I know this isn't gonna look the most appealing on camera because it's mashed black beans, but let's give it a taste. And if the seasoning and everything is good, then we can move on to the next step. Mm. Oh man. That is fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna move this off into a container. I'm gonna wash the skillet and then we're gonna work on the tacos. So I'm gonna make about three of these tacos. I have three corn tortillas here and I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the microwave for just a couple seconds. My tortillas are nice and microwaved and a little bit pliable. I'm gonna take some of my bean filling and stuff each tortilla. You don't wanna overstuff these. If I need to make more of these, I can later, but I'm just going for little crispy black bean tacos. I actually kind of over microwaved my tortillas a little bit because I lost track of time when I put them in the microwave. I was only going for 15 seconds. I ended up doing almost 30. <laughs> so, um, all right, so let's stuff each one. Otherwise, I am very excited with how this is gonna turn out. I think it's gonna be super crispy. And I'm only gonna be making three for now because I'm pretty sure that's all I can fit in my skillet. But I can always make more later if I get hungry. And then this is already like prepped and ready to go. So I won't have to do any prep work. I can just kind of toss these together and then fry them. So I know these are not gonna take much time to fry at all. I've got some oil preheated in my skillet. really probably only gonna need to fry these for about 30 seconds on each side. It's not gonna take long to get these crispy. Look at how crispy and golden brown those look. I have been thinking about these all day and I'm so excited to try them. If these don't turn out the way I've been like anticipating them in my head, I'm gonna be disappointed, but I don't think that there's any way that they couldn't. Let's give it a try. Did you guys hear that crunch? They are very hot on the inside though. Um, for a drink, I'm currently just drinking some of that lemonade. I prepped some last night and put it in the fridge. And then as you saw earlier, I just added a packet into some tea. So this is the bottle that I prepped last night. But moving forward, I'm just gonna put the lemonade straight in the tea. Let's blow that off. These would be fantastic if I had some salsa to dip them in. I wanted to get salsa, that's why I got Rotel because they didn't have any salsa. This is like the kind of thing I could eat every day with no problem because it's crispy, it's salty. It's like, it feels like a cheating meal, almost. Like it's so good that it feels like it's cheating even though it's on a budget. So I just finished my crispy black bean tacos and to say I'm stuffed is kind of an understatement. Like I am actually eating too much right now. <laughs> I don't really know how that's possible considering it's not that much more expensive than the 2750 and during the 2750 I was quite hungry but right now I am so content and I am very full and I think that that honestly speaks volumes so I think this is actually where I'm gonna leave you guys off today I would love to film my snack later but by that point it's kind of late and I do need to get this footage edited and imported and all that stuff so probably for a snack later I will either have the popcorn or the spicy nacho fieras most likely the spicy nacho fieras because I had them last night and they were amazing and they're probably my new holy grail Dollar Tree snack. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize that my dog is drinking water right now, but I will see you guys again tomorrow.